All right, Big Man, today is Monday, it's February 27th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports Snake Draft Monday. We're joined on Zoom by Tommy Smokes and Dana B. Uh, Dana B, you're the, uh, you were on more recent than Tommy, so how are you, Dana? I'm pretty good. I think this is my fourth time. Uh, I appreciate getting the nod. It feels like it was pretty, I don't know, like at least a month ago I was on, so it I appreciate like you right thinking of me. Saint, or uh, St. Patrick's, uh, Valentine's Day, correct? No. Yeah, because um, I mean, we were talking about great. what you got your your girlfriend. It was before Christmas, Dave. Oh, was that okay? Mm -hmm. She yeah. fucking loved it, boys. <laughs> did she? <laughs> I, that's what I was going to ask. Good. And the secret didn't get out either, so I do appreciate the stoolies for not uh, finding her and DMing her. It, but I'm doing well. I'm ready to crush it. This is a a topic that I'm pretty hot on, and and something that I travel a lot, so it's something that's you know pretty common in my life so i'm excited to talk about it and i know tommy probably is too yeah and i feel like these are Don't top 10 guests me, if we we're going to do like an all-star or if we we're going to do a draft of guests i feel like you guys would both be high on the list so i'm glad we got both of you speak for yourself thank you okay i think tommy's a little pipsqueak runt two things can be true at the same time you you like me Dave. i know <laughs> I, I love tommy <laughs> tommy I welcome fucking... back as well tommy you do pretty well in these things yeah, I think I've won a, a couple in a row, or, or maybe our I, I'm still mad at Clemmer taking Survivor from me on one of those. I think I, I won the last one I was on, it, which was triggering what sounds. What was the last thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I won that. Triggering and I sounds. Won for that. That. I, I listened to all of them. I couldn't listen to that one because it was it was just like it was too annoying. Like I can't. I when you point out those fucking sounds, it you're right. It triggers me, so I couldn't listen to it. I'm sorry. I don't know who won. Did Tommy win? Tommy did, in fact, so, yeah. win with forty three point five percent of the poll. That's a big, uh, that's a route. So we call a route. So congrats to you. But we're also Tommy wins. That's what he does. Tommy, to Tommy wins. You, you, yeah. you do, you do win a lot, Tom. Uh, we are keeping stats now, though. So this is your first time being able to uh, be in the stat book. And I should note the guests have done mean? very well. So since since uh, what I think the third week of the year, this twenty twenty three, mm, pretty arbitrary time. We're keeping stats, and as of right now, at least in the panel here, uh, I have a gold and I have a silver. Chief has three silvers, and White Sox Dave is bageled. He's got nothing. Um, so that's where we stand. He doesn't even have a bronze. He doesn't. I, we don't, I didn't even do bronze. Didn't even oh, look okay. at bronze. We're right. gold and silver. All right. And uh, besides I'm that, I'm counting my wins still. I mean, sure, if you want to count those as preseason, a three-year preseason, you're more than welcome to. You're hang hang welcome. those right. banners. Hang them. Yeah. So that's where we're at. That's where we're at. Um, I've got voting off, voted off twice. Dave's got voted off twice. So uh, kind of tough look for Chief, who's been on the poll the most and no gold yet. So just want to point that but out. But I have the most points. So how is that a tough look? No, it's weighted. So, so Yeah, so if you get three. If you get three Someone points. Someone said it's a tough look for you guys, not Chief. Right. Yeah. I, I would disagree. I would agree. So if you have you you have what? I got one gold, one silver. All right. So a gold is worth three, a silver is worth two? Yeah. That's five. Yeah. So I got three silvers? Yeah. That's six. So I'm right. ahead of you. So it's, it's right. a tough look for you. It's all right. So nice try. So it's, it's all about winning first. I though. also wasn't on, I believe, two. You weren't on one of them. So technically you're – you haven't had an opportunity as much as the rest of us. That is correct. But also, but at fault still of your own. Zeros. Cause you, yeah, because <laughs> yeah. you took crossfire in the game draft. So. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Just, you're too young for crossfire. We could uh, we could get the show on the road here. Air travel draft, five categories, uh, worst airport, uh, airplane snack, uh, airline, a grievance, and a perk slash best thing. We should note the airplane snack is something you have to get on the plane. It's because Ooh. if it's something, I texted you that. Yeah, he did. I texted you that um, because just talking it over with Tommy, if it's something that you could buy at the Hudson News, then like we're just arguing snacks. Yeah, so, that's true. All right. So, so it's got to be something you get on the plane. Yeah, and like we, it's something that you, and we could, you know, leave it up for debate, but I think we know the, the most traditional things you could get off a cart on, from a flight attendant. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely. Now, I do have one question about that, and I, I don't think this is uh you know tip picking is a drink considered a snack i would say tip a drink picking? is a drink and not a snack yeah i would say a drink not. can't be like if, if we were doing just like cart item like if we if we made it that 
Just I don't know. Does like does one of those fancy airlines give out smoothies? I feel like a smoothie is a snack, but I don't think that was a stupid. That was a stupid question, Tommy. You're (laughs) stupid, Dana. I I think you're both stupid. That was a stupid fucking question. A plain ginger ale is great. It just sucks that there's no option to now draft that if we're sticking it to snack. That's why I was saying if we did like a... Has anyone called a ginger ale a snack, Tommy? That's why I said let's change it to like cart item, you fucking idiot. You fat idiot. (laughs) Oh, no. Oh, no. (laughs) Tommy coming in guns blazing. (laughs) Tommy's like a calorie is a calorie. So if a snack is a yeah, snack, I mean, yeah. Dana inhales plenty. <laughs> Trust me, I do. I'm fat as fuck. Man. <laughs> I'm not one of those guys that hides it. I'm, I'm fat as fuck. No, fat. I know. <laughs> I mean, I'll change it to card item if you guys want, but snack is... No, no, no. Yeah, right, no keep it snack. Sorry, it's the worst suggestion of all time. <laughs> oh, fuck. Just, do you want to say what you would draft if if you were able to draft a drink? So, so you get it off I'm your chest? Ginger ale. I like okay. ginger ale on all right. an airplane. On an airplane. All right. Let the record show well, you would have drafted a ginger ale. Now that we got that out of the Third. way, can we all agree that it's fucking stupid how that when you order a drink on an airline... They give it to you in a little Dixie cup thing instead of just giving you a can or a fucking bottle. So then you got to basically drink the whole thing in in one sitting instead of letting it. They should have a reclosable. Bit. Yes. Yeah. It's so fucking annoying. All yeah. I get is water, and they pour it to me, and now I got to hold it. <sighs> Sorry about that. I. It's annoying. <laughs> Isn't that not annoying? Yeah. They should just get the little. Hey, yeah, maybe, the maybe, maybe we're one of the categories is fucking grievances, and yeah. you can play by the rules and save it for later. You, you know dummy. what? You fucking I idiot! I completely forgot about that. So I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right, Dave. It's all right. Um, all right, let's. Uh, That's let's, my bad. I feel like we should make him take that first overall. He can come back on the second round. <laughs> That's actually, you know, I think it's possibly my biggest grievance. Okay, keep it. All right, so we'll do the order now. Uh, Tommy, one through five, Harry has behind his back. What number is it? Three. No. Dana? Uh, Two. No. Chief? Five. Yes. I'll go first overall. All right, one through four, White Sox, Dave? One. No. Three? No. Tommy? Four. Yes. Two through five. I'll go second. All right, one through three, Dana. Three. Yes. I'll go fifth. One or two, White Sox, Dave. Oh, Chief already got it. Uh, One. Yes. I'll go third. All right. Order is Chief, Tommy, White Sox, Dave, Eddie, Dana. Air travel draft. We could get this thing underway after we talk about our friends at game time. The exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. Created by fans for fans, Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. They've cracked the code on how to score deals on last minute tickets. It's possible with the Game Time app, the biggest last minute price drops can be found on the seats you thought you could never buy. Dana, you go everywhere now. Like, I saw your waste management, and I know it's like, it's all Game Time, right? It's all Game Time, and we're talking gifts for my girlfriend. Luke Combs this summer got it through game time at Ooh. Gillette. Uh, shout out to them, and you know they're the best. They've they've put me up in a lot of good seats. Uh, like you said, waste management. A lot of the college games I went to, uh, a couple Celtics games in New York City. So we love them. You, they're the best, and and couldn't recommend them enough. Beautiful. The purchase process takes just two taps and ten seconds, and once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone. No printer needed. The app also allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text so you can get into the game seamlessly. Skip the hassle and enjoy the moment. Download the Game Time app or go to their website. Enter your email and redeem code DOGWALK for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. All right, the air travel draft. Let's do it, Chief. You're up. All right, I'm taking a first class first class upgrade. That is the number one perk. When I've never like been able to afford just a first class ticket on my own, but there's nothing better than when you get that upgrade because I used to travel quite a bit. They, you know, they call you up, you get the upgrade, you feel like a million bucks. You feel instantly rich. Like you feel better than other people. That's actually the the best perk. You you board first. You see all the poor people walk by by you. It's fucking great. First class upgrade. Yeah, that's the only pick to make here. Uh, there's nothing better than 
when you are sitting down. And it's kind of dumb how they don't board the back of the plane first to me, which I know a few airlines have started doing. But for first class, when you're sitting in first class, you get to look by all the pores and you yeah. judge them while they're like, oh, look at these guys. And when they close that curtain, you're like, there's that separation. You just feel better than everybody around you. Yeah, well, sure. it's funny. It's because like we are the pores. Yeah. So it's like great to not be mm -hmm. like that. I like to like get like a... Um, some kind of business magazine when I'm sitting up front. So when all the poor people are walking by, they're like, oh, this guy must be really smart. He's reading, that's how he got to sit in first class. He's reading like the Fortune magazine or whatever. Uh, Tommy, Dana, any thoughts? Yeah, the only really time I sat first class was flying back from San Antonio in my good luck charm run where Big Cat and Dave were in the first class. I was coach and me and Big Cat had to switch the whole flight so that I could just sit next to Dave so he could touch me and will like the, will the, the games to victory. And I remember like being blown away by, I was like, you guys get like hot towels up here and like they had all this food. And it almost makes me feel like I, uh, I don't want to fly first class unless I can do it, unless I get to a point where I can do it all the time. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like when you just got, when you just have a little taste of it and then you got to go back to just coach it's it, it blue makes balls. it even worse. So, yeah. Yeah, it's blue ball. So I want to wait until I can I can just be a, a first class passenger all the time. But yeah, obviously great pick and pretty clear one one. The, the curtain is one of the most demeaning things. <laughs> oh in yeah. The universe. Depending it's, on what side of the curtain you're on. Exactly. Right. I mean, I'm usually on the other side, probably ninety five percent of the time. So it's extremely demeaning. But I've actually never gotten a first class upgrade. I've, I've the only time I've been first class is I've bought it just because I think I was like. I just wanted to ball for one just for one time, but I've never gotten the upgrade. I can't imagine, you know, the feeling you get when when that happens, but it's a great pick. It's one one. And if that day comes, I'll be fired up and you know, I'd love to know how it feels. So the first time I got it, they like come by and they offered me you know, they have drinks, right? And I'm like, ah, oh, how much is it? She's like Sir, the the drinks are free. I'm like, oh fuck! Then like, it's like the wedding keep, keep, yeah. keep them coming, keep them coming. So <laughs> that was, and it was like another thing. I'm like, give me a bourbon because I don't want to be seen. Like, what if one of the poor people walks up and I'm just drinking like a, a rum and coke? I want to just drink it like a neat drink, something nice, something you know? nice. So yeah, so a first class upgrade is is the best thing. Yeah, so that's your perk slash best thing that could happen. Yeah. Um, good pick, Tommy. You're up. All right, so I think um, I'm thinking strategic here, and the to me the perk slash good thing that could happen that list was the shortest list that I could think of. Uh, I think first class upgrade is the clear one. So that I'm gonna go with number two, which is empty seat next yeah. to you. Yeah, uh, just an unbelievable feeling to get, or hell, even a whole row to yourself. It's it changes the whole it changes the whole vibe of the flight. I I'd. I mean, it's not better than first class, but it's it makes you feel like you're in first class in the coach seat, and it, it's it's stressful though. Like I feel like it's it's such a, a blue balls when you're sitting there and like for a while you're there's nobody next to you and you're seeing like people slowly filter on, just praying that they pass you. It's like such a rush, and I, I've always thought that like the that's like the biggest runway of judgment is an airplane aisle is because you just walk by everyone and you know everybody is thinking like if they want a, that person to sit next to you like yeah. you see dana come and you're like oh god i hope he's not sitting next to me <laughs> but like that that's when you're at your most vulnerable is people just imagining if you want them to sit next to you or not tommy i got a question for you to ask dana well you get the standby okay. people too can you make sure, just ask him this ask dana if he has to pay for two seats <laughs> Ask him. Dana, do you have to pay for two? No, seats? you fucking idiots. At least I'm not <laughs> five foot four over there, like a fucking meatball. Like I know that's not good for me on a plane, but in life, 90, 10, 99 percent of the time, I'd rather be six four, two seventy five, rather than five foot five, fucking three hundred, like you. Three hundred. I love that when Dave lumps you with that. I'm a hundred and ninety <laughs> pounds, motherfucker, <laughs> and I'm buff. <laughs> not fat. I do not have to buy two seats. I do not. But I do have. I have a leg room issue. It's it's never good. It's never good. That's why extra seat next to you, more leg room too. This is also with you know Frank. He's he's notorious for saying like, oh, I never won a lottery ticket. I have the worst luck. All my teams lose. If this happens to you, this is like winning a contest. Oh, if yeah. you got like nobody oh. next to you, it's a win. Like you feel like. 
Like you almost pump your fist. You're like, let's fucking go. Mm -hmm. It's it's a. It's win. the greatest yeah. thing on earth. Yeah. And there's sometimes like when you're boarding and you can just you know you can just there's no one at your gate. Like you can tell there's gonna be like seven people on your flight for whatever reason. It, it's like you might as well have a private jet. Yeah. When you have your own row to yourself, it's like wow. This is as close as you get to flying private. When Portnoy sent me back from New York after I was in Manhattan for 20 minutes a couple years ago, um, I got the, it, I don't know why or how, because New York to Chicago is obviously a very popular you know, flight path. And the entire, there was maybe 20 people on the plane. And one of them was a kid that I, I, I've met through friends. And he was playing in the Barcelona Classic in New York City that year. Uh, for the golf thing and so i sat next to him and then it, there was i like i was moving from seat to seat that's how empty the plane was and it was the greatest feeling of all time the entire plane was yeah, empty it's, it's, i don't need to talk to anybody or be by anybody it's nice great. Mm -hmm. and the standby people i hate when they fuck you well they're the poorest of the poor no <laughs> <laughs> no they're not they're not no those people are typically they work for united or whoever typically yeah they work okay. for and they have they they fly but, for free to literally anywhere my brother works for united now and free flights you just have to wait standby hmm. but it's also like friends as well who are yeah on you, but you, what i'm saying is they are deceptive where it's like you'll have an empty seat and then they're usually like the, the stragglers at the yeah. end who will, who will come in hmm. but part of the process i guess boarding group nine yeah that's a plus pick again, Tommy. I wanted one of the first ones to get one of those. So, Dave, you're up. Yeah, that those were the only two, the best two by far and away for for perks. So for sure. I'm gonna go with what I. This was a newfound discovery for me. I don't fly near as much as probably at least Dana and probably Ed and these guys. But I was flying from Arizona to New York last November after the Francis video, and first time I had ever experienced live TV on a flight. So I got to watch, I was flying during the Bears game. I'm like, fuck, I gotta miss the Bears game. They were playing the Dolphins, great tank loss, and watched the entire game on that flight. It was excellent. It was very nice, made the flight very enjoyable. That's your That's your what? Uh, perk, perk size best thing live, that could live happen. Live TV. Okay. It's not the route I thought you were gonna go for that, but. I mean, the the other two. I Tommy, mean, looks ready to, Tommy looks ready to pounce on you for this pick. I don't love that. I, I think that's a bad pick. Live, live that's first of all, like that's almost like it's almost on every plane. I feel like, but I, I'm like, I guess for your for your situation, yes. Like if there was a live game that I wanted to watch, but for the most part, like ninety nine percent of the time, I don't give a fuck if I have live TV or not. It was. A, I'll say it this: it was a great a surprise when. We took off and all of a sudden the direct TV screen popped up and I got to watch a Bears game thinking I was going to miss it. Yeah, I guess that was it's like nice for that the, the first time that I was on a flight where that happened in, in 2015, that that was like cool. And then after that, it's just like, it's just a regular experience. Yeah, Dave, it's been it's been around for a while. And so it's is getting upgrades. So is empty seats. Yeah, but like you. OK, I, I don't I'm with Tommy. I don't think this is that great of a pick. I think it's a nice perk. It also cuts in and out, Eddie. It cuts in and out all the I time. I don't remember that you know happening. What I mean? Yeah, it could it it's, could cut in I'm, and out. There yeah. could be bad reception. I don't think it's maybe maybe too early given the slot, especially since two I don't are really off think the board. There's, yeah, it's going to be hard for yeah, me and Dana for, to find one. What's the, what, what else is after that? Um, I got one of mine. It's not as good as those, but uh, regardless, I do like to see it. Is a nice added feature. I just think I just question this slot selection of I just but feel I don't like think this is just like a, a technological upgrade it's almost like well it's almost like picking an iPhone whatever over the previous iteration it's like not a perk it's just like we're evolved like we're just having better technology it's you, a say, you guys say that it's a most flights I fly a solid amount not as much as a lot of people at this company but yeah, I don't I'd think it's typically yeah. like it's it's more common to not. You can play the fucking poker game or solitaire or something, but live TV, like watching a Bears game, I did not expect. And it was a nice little perk. Mm. All right. That's off the board. Um, live TV. It's to me. This is tough. I guess I shouldn't take that because three are already off the board. Um. So I think I might go in the grievance category. I, oh man, I, I don't know. Should I do this to Dana? He's been hammering Listen, on. Listen, I have a it. laundry list, so you're not gonna hurt my feelings. I have a. I know you're grievance going is for a it. is a deep category. I feel uh, like. It's, it's so deep. So, yeah, it's so. But deep. I know you. I know it, it's also like 
I know you might think it's my thing. It's it's not the most original thought. Like everybody fucking thinks it, so you won't hurt my feelings. Yeah, it was a Tommy's Thursday thought back in February 2019. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. It, hey, what? By the way, everybody's. Why are you thinking right now? <laughs> that got what? canceled. It's You're not Friday, allowed to dude. think. <laughs> it's Friday. I guess I've been I, saving I, up. That's fine. Did you think yesterday? No, shut the brain off. Okay. I still can't believe they canceled that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fucking hate admitting this, but that was one of my favorite videos ever. That was so fucking perfect. Why was it canceled Thursday thoughts? That's so <laughs> it's, it's absolutely, it's a crime that there wasn't a camera on Tommy when they told him it was canceled, too. I swear to I God. I wasn't even told. It was just like in the it corporate was in email. Like yeah. I, we all got that email. Well, it, to was the on, content. it was on a, uh, it was on a, like a oh. slide though, right? It was on a PowerPoint. Yeah, it was on like a slide in a meeting that I wasn't even in. <laughs> yeah, I remember but reading it. I'm like, doesn't he just record that with his iPhone? Yeah, <laughs> but and then I'm I, like, what production? Even that, I just wish someone had your reaction <laughs> to being told that it was on a fucking company slide that your thoughts were gone. You're not allowed to think to on be Thursdays. Fair, I did through the years have like at some point it was like a. I think Mikey podcast was like, oh, posted as a podcast. So like I did have a production person just like, I think literally put a graphic on it and uploaded it to Apple. But yeah, definitely something I could have handled on my own. <laughs> I would like to be told that ahead of time. You need a selfie stick yeah. for 15 bucks on Amazon. <laughs> do, you think, do you think anybody downloaded and subscribed to Tommy's thoughts on Apple? There's no, like, why would you listen to that? <laughs> I mean, a few of the your thoughts did resonate with me. Yeah, 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 but you wouldn't listen to that as a podcast. <laughs> maybe, maybe. And touch just an old I think like you want to see this pretty face on your screen. Yeah, yeah. And then you change it to the walking and everything. There were some. There was some thought into just besides yeah, the thoughts. Yeah, you know, I, now I just post it maybe as a TikTok, just just a thought, and I try not to make it just Thursday. I would like to see it in just a written form as like a coffee table book, just all your thoughts for the year, and we'll buy it on like, I've Black Friday. I've considered that. Yeah. yeah. Coffee table thoughts. Yeah. Maybe Black Friday. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So I'm going to go with it then. We talked about it before. I think it was in the grievance draft as well. So the people who rush off the back of the plane. Yeah. Um, plain and simple. Where the fuck are you going? Where do you got to be? Unless you got a connection, obviously. We've said that before. Just wait your turn. What are you saving? Eddie, but the thing is with the connections, like even if you have a connection and you're rushing up to the front, so do probably a lot of the fucking people that you're cutting in front of it's like we all got places to be what makes you so fucking special that your connection's more important than mine you know yeah i agree i agree and there's no there's no re good reason for it that i found except for the people who are like i just like to stand because i like to stretch out my legs but then if you want to do fair. that just statue don't move don't you can move. only there, you, I, if, also you could you could do that and be a blocker, similar like Francis, on the uh, shoulder, yes. like you know, does the right like that. Almost, I think, is like if you're going to stand just to block and make sure nobody else uh, passes you, that's totally acceptable and borderline heroic. I agree. Oh, the lead blocker is is always is always important. But I'm, I'm telling you, recently in the last like year or so, I have been like actively calling people out, and it feels so good because they just cower. And they turtle and they don't know what to do because they don't half the time they don't realize they're doing something wrong and then when they do realize it's like they just kind of they don't know what to say so i'm telling you if you're listening out there don't be afraid to fucking challenge these people okay yeah. they it's, deserve it it's not like and we're living in a time where side. what's that i said you'll have the crowd on your side like yeah everybody on the plane will agree with i do you. think that would be aggressive just be like hey we you know we all got places to be like you know like what makes you special you don't have to yell at them just like, do a yeah, little, yeah. like it is kind of like a bold kind of i would say to use tommy's word borderline heroic move we're living in an era of where airplane fights happen all the time yes they yeah. do and you calling people out publicly for bad behavior you're putting your life on the line but the good thing is is that it's the end of the plane you're already on the ground so you're not gonna like yeah you're already coming back. You're not going to yeah. st stop takeoff. You're not right. going to make an emer emergency, emergency landing. landing. It's at a good moment to it, be a hero. Do you want to hear a and quick you know, little funny story? I had a friend who got arrested for on a plane for the mask shit. 
<laughs> really? He lost his. He just finally was at wit's end, and he got dragged off the plane in cuffs. I don't think that's funny. I think that's on him. I think it's being uh, a dick. I know. He he kind of disappeared from the group chat for a couple of weeks, and then he's like, "Ah, sorry, guys, been dealing with some shit," and he sent us a police report. And I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah." Oh, well, what side was he on? <laughs> uh, the non-mask. <laughs> what, what were you gonna say, Dana? No, I I just the way I know that it's the right thing to do is because. A lot of the times, like, I posted a few videos of, of it, and I've had, like, uh, flight attendants be like, thank you. Thank you. Like, we appreciate what you're doing to standing up to these people. Like, they'll never say anything, but I've had, like, dozens of flight attendants be like, that's the right thing to do. So that's how you know that it's fucked up. Dozens? The flight attendants are getting pissed. Mm -hmm. Dozens. That's, I mean, they got to see it multiple times a day. I bet they hate it more than anybody. Yeah, but that's 24 instances it would be dozens. That's a lot of times. Yeah, well, so I put it on, on TikTok and it went like pretty viral. And yeah. then all the, a bunch of comments were like, we're our flight attendants. Oh, uh, so okay. Not right. in person. All right. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah not in person. Okay. Hell, no. okay. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> After every flight, Dana gets off. All the fucking flight attendants in a row doing a handshake. Oh, yeah. Line. I should have yeah. qualified that. Yeah. Never, never. The, the pilot's like pinning the wings on your chest. Be yeah. like, thank you, sir. Thank you, Dana B, <laughs> yeah. the pirate water king, the king of the airlines. <laughs> there he is, pirate water. Um, all right, Dana B, you're up. All right, I mean, I have so many grievances, so I think I'm going to hold off on that. I, I think I got to go with the plain snack because I don't have many of those I like, and there's one of them that I think everyone knows. It's the Biscoff. That's the only one I really knew. That's the only one. That's I. I'm not gonna get a snack later in the draft because I don't really like anything else. So I'll go with the Biscoff. I mean, it's a classic. Mm -hmm. It's on most most airlines, and I don't know. I don't have much to add. I just have to get a snack before they all go. I I, I drafted it in a cookie draft. What was that draft? Yeah, I think last year sometime. Yeah, and I got shit on for it. So I mean, that's different circumstances. Totally different circumstances. It's it was a shit it was cookie. A, it was but a it's fifth like, round pick. We drafted twenty four other yeah, kinds of still cookies. Yeah, there's there's better cookies. Than nah, that. I, I think there's it's a great pick. I think it's a very good pick, Dana. Good pick. It's a strategy pick. I mean, I it's I don't love them, but it's my favorite snack on a plane. I I just don't know when else I'm gonna get a good. They're snack, so very dry and very tasteless and very sawdusty, but it's like the only thing to pick. So that makes it a good pick. They're very chic. Cookies. Yeah, I just really. Did. Yeah, I think it's a good pick because I think the majority of people do like them. I personally, I just, I really despise them and I never get them. They're good. You know, they're like, I would never buy them off of an airplane. Right. But Trent, Trent, I think buys them at like a, at like his local supermarket. <laughs> at a Casey's. <laughs> Simple Trent. Uh, yeah. I think it's, it's yeah. near the top though, if we're categorizing, but all right, Dana, you're up again. I uh, it's I don't I hate that I picked it as a first round pick, but I I guess I could have picked it with my second, but whatever. I I have so many grievances, but the one that really speaks to me, other than what we just went over, is a hot airplane. I'm a sweaty guy. I, when the when the fucking AC and fans are kind of either on low power mode or they're not even on, that's my personal hell. Just being a sweaty guy on an airplane when I'm already huge and have no leg room. That is my hell. So a hot airplane is my grievance. Those that's one of those things where like Dave, you're talking about like the technological upgrade of the uh, of the live TV. That's great. Do, fix something. Do something about the AC. That's a that's a way bigger problem for me on flights than the, than the entertainment. I hate those little twisty knob. I think Carl drafted that in our AC draft, and I'm like, that's a terrible pick. They yeah. never fucking work. Sometimes the air coming out of there is hot. Uh, Dana, that's a. I love this pick. Love this pick. It, the only problem is it's it doesn't always happen, so I don't know how many people have experienced it. But when you do experience it, and like I said, when you're a hefty man and you don't, or you already don't have leg room, and you're already as uncomfortable as it you sucks. are as it is, it sucks. It's just terrible. So. I mean, I don't love my first two picks. I hate my draft so far, but that's what I gotta go with. Uh, I, think I think that's I'm chiefing right. I think that's a good pick. 
a hot airplane is a great yeah it's a, it's a it feels like it's one of those things that they should you you figure out how to fly this thing at 500 miles an hour 35,000 feet but you can't regulate the temperature like just figure it out this might be a stupid question why can't they just make airplanes bigger so you can have more leg room in in every row well i think they want to pack as many people on the plane as possible yeah more but why can't you just lengthen it out a little bit so the rows just aren't so they would just small. put more people on they would just more put seats. more seats on yeah. yeah it's got nothing to do with the aerodynamics i don't i i i don't know i mean they have like huge planes oh yeah the you jumbo know, jets you're right but those are still cramped so all right it's to me i there's no point that i, I want to take my perks as best thing that could happen but there's no point since i it will get back to me so i gotta go airline snack or worst airport I have my snack. I don't think any of you guys are going to take it. So I'm going to wait on that. I'm going to go airline. And I put this as my number one. And uh, I'm going to go with United. That's a little home cooking. But obviously, we're from Chicago. It's one of the b biggest businesses here. So we have a great hub from O'Hare. And uh, I really like their app. I don't know if you guys have ever used their app. Their app is really easy to use. It's one of the it's, best apps. It is. Yeah, it's a strong app. And uh, and the I don't know the United Center. Like I don't. There's yeah. a lot. There's a lot that goes into it. I know airlines might be nitpicked a little bit when it comes down to everyone's pick. Mm -hmm. But given where the draft is at, I'm going to go with my airline right now. This is one and of those I, those things where I feel like United. It like you never have to wor worry about getting a flight somewhere. Like they're yes. like they go everywhere. They're in every airport. Like there's a, an abundance of options. Like United is fucking solid, rock mm -hmm. solid. I agree. I was gonna say they got a good they got good options on the TV too. They also have live TV for Dave. Uh, solid solid movie selection. So I like to pick. Thank you. Um, yeah, they have the friends that you were kind of alluding to it. My brother works for them now and they, so my parents would fly free. I could fly free if something bad happened, like, you know, death in the family or something. Uh, they got a really nice perk package for their employees too, which is nice. Love my brother just that. went to fucking Germany. He took a weekend trip for free, free there. So yeah, great company, great airline. Um, to you, White Sox, Dave. Um... I am gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with um, grievance. I'm gonna go babies crying. Mm. See, but that's not like the airline's fault or the airplane's fault. And yeah, that's, a, that's a. It is off. Neither is people crowding the aisle. Is yeah, it the airlines. Yeah, I, I suppose. But this one, I don't know. This one doesn't bother me. I How guess. It, the? It's like scientifically proven that human babies cry as a way to annoy people to get more attention so you can like suck your tits and wipe your ass and shit like that no i i understand <laughs> that but it's also it's, it's so just it like, doesn't bother you when it's like it's you're like, going against it's like science a, it's like a fact that i put my headphones in <laughs> and, and sometimes it's like, it's they're like not a, enough a fact of reality where it's like that sucks for that you know sucks for them like i don't have to deal with it uh yeah you do if you have yours, you have to deal with it. I just go like this, and, then and I'm if you if good. you're sitting I'm right next to them, probably that, asleep. that you're gonna sleep next to a crying baby. That's an impossibility. A crying I've baby is maybe the worst sound on the planet. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. I, that much. It sucks. It does suck. I mean, I'm with you on this. I remember one time. I think I tweeted this a while ago. I was like, I was a little buzz, and this fucking baby next to me was just. He wouldn't shut up, and I—I I think I talked a little shit to him. Like I was like, "Dude, can you just stop? Like, please stop!" And like, because his parents had headphones in, they weren't listening. It didn't work, but it was that you again. That's one of those situations where you have no control, and it feels like you end up getting mad at the parents. Like, why can't you make this stop? I'm with you, David. It's, I think I brought this up on on last week's draft, um, and, and like laws you can make if you were president. I'm like, you have to be a certain age to fly. Because of this, you, like you're not you allowed to get on an airplane yeah. if, if you still cry, like not because a dog died or something. Like if you cry because you're a baby, you're not allowed on a plane. Or the babies get thrown in like the bottom with the luggage. Yeah, or that, <laughs> you know what? I, that's a nice happy medium. It's awesome, like yeah. the dog, you just yeah. put them in the crate and like you know you. I think you're supposed yeah. to lay babies face down so they don't choke on their puke. Just lay them face down in a, a little crate. Next Why to don't the they make like a, family like, cocker like spaniel? Like church, they make a cry room. Baby on the conveyor. Belts next to your luggage is wait for oh, it to that's fine. To shoot. Yeah. 
they have the the sticky like tag long tag thing on them on their leg or something yeah perfect yeah oh this one's not mine check the leg this one looks like mine it's not mine i just got a new baby i think that's it but i'm not sure you gotta write your name on its foot like it's andy in toy story yep yeah (laughs) toss a handkerchief around his ankle uh but they should make a cry room you know like a church like a mass that's a nice feature where they're just they're just yeah. you put them behind like the bulletproof glass and nobody can hear what's going on. <laughs> they're just fucking boxed out. I think it's a good pick because it fucking sucks. But I do have empathy with the parents because they don't want it. They hate that as much as everyone else. They're hates it. probably like embarrassed because yeah, they know it they're sucks. The so that's why, like, I, I agree. I don't like I've learned to live with it now. Yeah. Well, you but, have no choice. but yeah, to live exactly. with it. That's the worst part. Yeah. But I, I guess I've mm-hmm. learned to have a better attitude towards it since like, you know, it's not like I'm like, hey, shut your fucking kid up. But I'm thinking to myself, sure? hey, shut your fucking kid up. Have you ever told head? the parents to shut their kid up? No. No. I'm a dick, but I'm not that big of a dick. <laughs> um. All right, baby's crying. But I'm judging them in my head. They should be better parents. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I agree. Yeah. Uh, Tommy, back to you. Give that kid some fucking whiskey or something. Uh, all shut right. Up. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go airline here. I'm going to take Delta. I think it's I just think it's the best airline. Uh, Delta, you know, I'm not, I've never sat in it, but the Sky Mile lounge looks great. Uh, it, you get it just, it's pretty good, pretty good uh, leg room. You got features, you got a, a good catalog of, of movies, shows. I've never had like an issue really with um, long delays or like canceling. Fl- like even JetBlue, I know is considered good, but like they just canceled the flight for me back from Florida like a few months. Like Delta, I feel like is just it's solid. It's consistent. Uh, the, their Sky Mile program is great. Uh, you know, you can get the credit cards and all that shit and, and rack up your miles. So I, I think that a lot of other airlines, uh, you know, obviously you don't want fucking spirit or anything. I think Delta is just it's the true blue. Like, I bet if you looked at a lot of a lot of top lists, Delta would be number one or two. So I'll take Delta. Strong. Yeah, for sure. I think they're Atlanta's hub. Yeah, and I, I think I Atlanta. So. That and, makes sense because I flew Delta to Atlanta. Does you? So here in Atlanta are like the two biggest connection airports in like the world. Right? Yeah, yeah. So. And I think and I think Denver's in there. Glenny Balls won't fly anything but Delta. Glenny Balls. There you go. Glenny Balls. Glenny Balls. Prima Donna. Yeah, <laughs> that is kind of a prima donna move. A I did have. Uh, yeah, I did know somebody one time I was going on a ski trip, um, Colorado. And I, I got like the Airbnb and they got the flight. And that's how we just like, ah, like we don't want to do everything individually. So they booked it on Delta with a stop instead of going direct to Denver because they just wanted to fly Delta. And I'm like, well, this is absurd. <laughs> Where but was the stop? That is crazy. It, you had to go to Salt Lake City and then like so you, you fly flew over Denver. Yeah. When, and I, did, I, was, I didn't know until like you were, we were at the airport. I'm like, wait a second. What do you mean? Why are we looking at this? Like, oh, we're going to Salt Lake so we can be on Delta. And they're like, oh, do you have like points or something? And they're like, no. Here's a a quick story to show you what kind of uh, upstanding uh, company Delta is. So when I went to the Dominican a few weeks back with Donnie, my flight was at like 630 in the morning. So I had never flown internationally before. And I just assumed Delta, it was out of O'Hare. So I get there and there's this dude and his wife also flying. They're flying to... um, Punta Cana, so not exactly the same place, but they were both going to Dominican. And him and I are yucking it up. Uh, we got there at like 3.30 in the a.m. and we're like looking for our flight, looking for our flight. No, but no like uh, attendants are there, no employees are there yet. So him and I are like, we're, we're thinking this is weird. So eventually employees get there and they're gonna point us in the right direction to go check in for our flight and everything. After about an hour, him and I both find out that we were flying out of the wrong airport. I was shitting my pants because I didn't want to be in the crosshairs of Dave Portnoy. So I'm fucking freaking out. I'm like, I'm texting Donnie. We have an issue. We have an issue. We have an issue. Eventually, uh, and and this guy made the exact same mistake that I made. Him and his wife did. They were supposed to fly out of Midway. We were flying out of O'Hare. Delta took care of it. We flew out of O'Hare, got to Atlanta, got to the Dominican, and it was nice and easy. So shout out Delta. Um, There you go, Delta. I was actually shitting my pants, though. I'm sure. I wish that. You didn't get taken care of. <laughs> I was fucking freaking out. Freaking Chief, you're out. up. All right. Uh, I'm going to go with snack because I feel like that's a limited category, too. I've drafted it before. I love peanuts. You give me a little pack of peanuts, I'm good to go. So uh, I feel like that was probably the first ever airline snack, and uh, it still holds up. So I love peanuts. I'm taking peanuts. 
What's that smile, Dana? I'm a cheap guy. I, I, you don't I like peanuts? Just, I, there's, it's slim picking, so I, I don't blame you. But I just, they're so, they just, they don't move the needle for me. I they love don't peanuts. Have, yeah, but it is slim pick. I'm a chief guy. I, I'm a Barada yeah. gang. I, 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 this is not one of those picks. I don't know why it made me laugh. That I just fucking love peanuts. I love peanuts. <laughs> I could eat a fucking entire little it, cylinder of peanuts. One triple nut. Yeah. But it does get some respect for being like the OG. Yeah, you oh, yeah. but you don't like them? Yeah. As a, you don't like to pick as a, just a standalone snack versus what's what else is on the cart? It's okay. It's They're all, all right. just okay. It, it's not. It, I I, I have that. a couple ahead of that. There's nothing on this list that's going to knock your dick off. Be like, oh, I can't believe you got that. I have a couple ahead of that. Okay. Um, but peanuts. Enough said. Mm-hmm. Um, back to me. Um, I'm going to go with a grievance, and I feel like this is something that isn't like a uh, one that gets talked about a lot. But if you're on like a, on a flight, or usually it's that happens on every flight. When the pilot has to make an announcement and it's literally about nothing and it interrupts whatever you're watching and they cut out the, uh, they're like, oh, like we're at this cruise. You and have I'm to like, listen to Bro, the I don't give a fuck. I have no control over anything you're doing up there. I'm back here. You're up there. Fly the takeoff, fly the plane, land it, and shut up in between. Don't make an announcement unless we're like making an emergency landing. Even Otherwise, then, I wouldn't want to know. I'd rather you just crash. Into yeah, like I don't, I don't need to hear from the pilot ever. And none of those updates ever do anything for me. It's just like I feel like the pilot is just bored, and he's on a power trip, and he's going to interrupt my program. And if it's a two-hour flight, and you're watching a two-hour movie, and he made four announcements during the flight, that's going to cost you the ending of that movie or documentary. So I hate when the pilot comes on and makes announcements because they are so fucking pointless. Take off and land and shut up. Pilot announcements. I love that pick. I had a, a, a pilot like recently. He was like almost doing a stand-up set. Like he was just oh, nonstop. Dang, I hate those guys. Like, That's why I no longer fly Southwest like, because I feel like it happens more on Southwest. I don't remember what airline it was, but it was just like he was just nonstop, like just talking to t like you know. There's there's almost nothing that you ever need to say. Tell us when we're landing. Right. And like that's it. There's also one time I, I remember I landed. And the, the pilot got on the loudspeaker and be like, let's wish, like, Caitlin a happy birthday. Like, as if we were at, like, a fucking Benihana. Like, they're, they're yeah. you don't need a birthday <laughs> announcement on an airplane. Like, it was ridiculous. Sounds like Eddie doesn't like this pick. No, no, I like it a lot. The only thing that I do like an update, like, if they're like, hey, we're about, whatever, an hour out. I like an update, but it could be quick. But here's the, like, you no longer need, you, yeah, always, you also a, always know how long your flight is sure yeah. and then the other thing is now like same thing with the live tv and this is something that like i'll pop a 3g and then i'll just watch the plane flight map <laughs> just <sit> there, like <laughs> just <laughs> staring at it and yeah, i'd be like oh we're over michigan now and uh so like you always know exactly you know, yeah, yeah. yeah so like there's no there's never in this modern era he should. I never want to hear him talk. I, in I, fact, I just like to hear what the guy from the controller once in a while. I'll be like, all right, here's what we're looking at. It's like, all right, cool. No, I like that. No, no, you're wrong. But you are absolutely wrong. Besides that, I love the pick because even if you're not plugged into the system, and he's talking, and I'm just watching on like my phone or my iPad, I still feel obligated to like stop yeah. what I'm doing because it's distracting. Right. So I think it's a really good pick. Thank you. Yeah. It doesn't get talked about. It. Like it people talk it about, doesn't. like the rush rushing past people. Yes. Yeah, it's an yeah. underrated. It's an under. It's an underground yeah. one a little bit for sure. But the only thing is, is it's usually so quick. It's like a very mild. As annoying as it is, I do also hate it. But there's also that buffering time before your show comes back on. I know. It but sucks. I mean, it typically <laughs> it drives me fucking insane. If like if you're flying, you know, from L.A. to New York, that's what a five six hour flight. Mm -hmm. You got a baby crying. You for five hours that's way worse than that 30 second interruption from. totally yeah but the pilot is an adult and has the control like he can totally. control it where right. the other thing is just like out of everybody's control the pilot's choosing to annoy you all right tommy you're back up all right i try i think i'm gonna break the seal on worst airports here because i was t i was talking and we were talking i was talking to eddie about this i don't know if i love this category because i i can't think of I feel like most airports are the same to me, more or less. Like I'd agree. it's more the experience can can vary. 
Um, but Which matters. Take it all into account mm -hmm. when it comes. This is not yeah. just the fucking bricks, how the foundation is laid. Everything is into account. I'm going to go with, well, to me, when I just think bad airport, of like, God, I hope I don't have to fly there, is Newark Airport. Uh, it, it's oh, usually it rated rated as one of the worst, like customer satisfaction. Like I, there was a stat, it's like 25% of the flights are delayed or something. It's also massively inconvenient to get to like coming for me, like being a, a New Yorker my whole life, it's always LaGuardia or JFK or like not fly. Like there's just absolutely no chance I'm gonna fly into or out of Newark. And I've, I've only done it a, a handful of times and it's, it's very, uh, the, there's there's nothing good like yeah. LaGuardia and JFK. I know they get a lot of shit. I think they're both very fine airports, especially lately they've been renovated. I know I know people are going to hate on that, but uh, and what is it? I, I think that uh, Newark is just it's just dull and boring and it's ineffective and it's inconvenient and it's in a major city. So I'll go with Newark. LaGuardia, you're in fucking Newark. You La, want to be in Newark? Yeah. LaGuardia is just a, a really good airport now. Like post renovation, I LaGuardia I think is like awesome. And I feel like back, you know, because I, I, sometimes you could get like a little bit cheaper international flights or different flights coming out of Newark versus LaGuardia or uh, JFK. So like I, I've done that before, but now like the gap between LaGuardia and Newark is so huge that it's almost worth it to just pay the little bit extra if you're if you have to choose one because. That's how bad Newark is. Newark sucks. I, I don't. I like that you could get from door to door quick there because it's smaller. So I think there is something to be said about that. LaGuardia, I'm pretty sure, has a special terminal now just for New York to Chicago. And you're in at the gate in like 15 minutes. Yeah. And, and the one thing I would say is awful about Newark is they have no branded uh, restaurants. They I don't know if you ever noticed that. Mm. It's all like their stupid little kiosk, like whatever they, they don't serve. Have like a Chili's or nothing. No, it's no branded restaurant. At least from what I've the terminals I've been in, it's all the same thing. You order off an iPad. Oh yeah, yeah. you're right. Actually, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, so it'll horrendous. be different restaurant horrendous. names, but the same menu everywhere. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's annoying. It's yeah. a horrendous, horrendous airport. Uh, I think maybe four or five times I've gotten there for really early flights. I've gotten there at five a.m. And I've stood in line in security for at least an hour and a half. And this fucking place has zero identity. It has zero camaraderie. I, I, if You're right. If I can pick any fucking airport in the world, I mean, I'm sorry to all my people from Jackson. I'd fly out of Jackson Airport, and it's the size of my fucking thumb rather than Newark Airport. I despise it. I, I would say the first, the worst 10 experiences of airports I've had are Newark. Wow. wow. How about that? Scabelli, yeah. good pick. Uh, yeah, I think, I think when you think bad, bad airport, like that, that was the one to me that I was like, if anyone's going to differentiate itself, that absolute shithole stands supreme. I, I don't think any other one even should be drafted after Newark. It's also just a well, shitty, we have to. it's just a bad well, I understand city. That. It's just not like a, just like a gray, gross city too. I don't know. Yeah, it's Newark fucking like, blows. New, and that Newark, movie uh, fucking sucked ass. Oh, Many maybe. states in Newark. Yeah, I know it doesn't have anything to do with the airlines. Zero but stars. Just Zero stars. Hearing the name Newark. <laughs> you're pissed. It pisses me off, Ed. Pisses uh, me right off. You're up, Dave. Um, honestly, I've never had a bad airport experience outside of Newark. Um, everybody bitches about O'Hare and different airports. I've never really gotten it because I've never had an issue at any of them. Uh, we all had an issue. If you guys remember, I think it was in 2020 at Philadelphia. Oh, Philadelphia oh, sucks dude. too. That was a fucking horrific. It, the crowd for the TSA line was three miles long. It was like backed up to like the rental cars. Yes. Yeah, it was, it was, it was insane. Did we have to reschedule or did we make our no, flight? We made our flight, but barely. <laughs> it was bad. Dude. Yeah. It I was, was like, there's experience. no fucking way we're getting on this plane. No chance at all. I don't yeah. know how we did even, but that was like, I remember it, it was the worst airline experience I've ever Cause had. Cause you had to go through security in one terminal. It right. Was like all and they were up. all like bottlenecking into one. Yeah. I remember asking somebody cause I'm like, this can't be, and we were there plenty of time. Like we were there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hours yeah. before. Yeah. Right. And it was like, we barely made it because of how long that line was for security. And I'm like, where does, where is the line? They're like, and it was one of those things where they like pointed in a general direction. It's like, it's the end of the line is somewhere back there. And it was yeah. like you couldn't. It was like over the horizon. That's how long that line. Yeah, was. that was bad. 
You guys got experience in Philly, Dana? I I think I remember one time there was just a really long walk to the gate, and I hated that. Yep. And I, I understandable that's considering thing. you're a man of girth. <laughs> Big man of girth, yes. Uh, I do like to get my steps in. However, not, not at an airport. Yeah, uh, my only I've never flown out. Like I, I'm close enough. If I'm going to Philly, it's Amtrak or driving. So I've never flown in or out. Yeah, that that's nice. Fair. I agree, Dave. I, I did not like that, that was a bad experience. day. Yeah, yeah, that was tough. And it, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. flown. I've flown into there probably five times in my life. It's never been a uh, okay. That because yeah. I feel bad. I've only done it no. once, so I don't want to judge it. Even too when much. it's good, right? It's I know bad. that was okay. that was yeah. my worry. Picking it yeah. was that it was you know maybe just a one in a million chance, and I got unlucky. But no, that's not a good airport. All right, to back to me. I'm gonna go with. Um, I'm gonna go with perk slash the best thing that could happen. And um, I'm gonna take sleeping the whole flight. I mean, sure, there's entertainment that could get you by. That's not a perk from the airline, though. Yeah, but it's perk slash best thing that could happen. Like I, I interpret sleeping it, through the flight. Oh, I would. Oh, yeah, wow. like I interpret that like is something that to make the experience better. Like that. That is one thing that could make it better. That is my. That happens like I would say eighty percent of my flights. I, yeah, but I'm that's not the case now. for everyone. Yeah, I guess I, I just know. never I, I thought never, it. I, I think of that as like a personal strength of my own. To I think it's like, something that you is, get better yeah. at. Is, too, I'll typically fly. fall asleep like before we even take off, and then I'll land when the pilot makes an announcement or someone has to pee. You and, like, said you it. can't do it, Tommy? Never. I, I can't even get a second. I, I think it's because I think I'm, I'm too smart to nap in general. Like, I can't. <laughs> can't just turn my brain off unfortunately my brain's always going and uh, like, i wish i was uh, i got a company-wide email that yeah. said you you have not, to turn your brain it was, off you just lied to us then you said that it, it's constantly going and then 20 minutes ago you said it wasn't going at all yesterday so what's the truth here well thursdays i guess i'm now allowed to nap but uh no i i i and i i actually am envious of like i wish i could nap i am my like if we had plane activity on here literally every plane ride i'm basically i stare at the flight map uh i listen to music and like i i'll scroll through like old pictures or something and just contemplate uh my life and where it's going and what i've done do you it play make poker you smarter than everybody because you can't take a nap oh it does Dan. Oh, I, can you take a nap yeah all the time all right, yeah, thank you point proven i used to uh fire up this podcast i love called thursday thoughts and that would just help me fall right <laughs> to sleep so you yeah. can get through like 300 <laughs> yeah of them in a flight <laughs> and there are there are external factors like we talked about if the baby's crying if the pilot's making too many announcements there's turbulence there are things where it's like i don't think that it would have to be bad turbulence for it to wake but me. that's not everyone yeah that's yeah. What, the best thing that could happen it's like man if i could sleep through this whole flight that'd be great i've had people like be like how did you sleep through that i'm like what do you mean yeah. i'm sonked i recently uh so when i went to waste management a couple weeks ago i took a red eye that night and I got to the airport, you know, a couple hours early so I could grab a meal or whatever. Had a few beers and I slept for a six hour flight from Arizona to Ooh. New York. And I had the whole road to myself. There was something about that. I didn't wake up hungover. I had the entire flight, just had a few beers at night, whole road to myself, lie down and wake up in New York. And it was one of the best feelings in the history of the world. Yeah. It's, it's nice. a great feeling. It's nice. Yeah. The more you fly, the better you are at sleeping on planes, I feel like. Because I used to not be able to do it whatsoever, and now I can do it very easily. Was it like a nerves thing? Yeah. Okay. So best thing that can happen, it's you just zap it from your brain. It never happened. You, you're you up, and you're yeah. down, and then I woke up, and I'm ready to go. Yeah. Like you don't have to worry about anything. It's the best thing. It's yeah. Through and like, to Dana's point, I've had one, I've told you about this story. I've only had one like terrible red eye experience. Normally I'm the same way. I'm like, let's just board this plane and where if it's cross country or whatever, and I can sleep Roll through out. the night. Like I feel like I have an adequate night's sleep, mm -hmm. even just sitting on the plane. And there's, you know, copious amounts of 3G involved typically. Yeah. That's this a, really that, just that's a hell. show how shitty flights are. They yeah. really suck. They do. I see. I disagree. Like I like being awake for the whole flight. Like I feel like I could be productive. Like one of my last flights, I wrote my friend's best man speech on the flight. Like I feel like you're just confined and like you could I don't know, get something done or whatever. I don't know. 
distracting, I think. You know, it's so loud. People, I don't know. It's like a white noise. Though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, like, see, but that, like, I feel you like. You think that helps, helps you? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, Dana, you're you turn back the up. the lights off, that's a nice little thing, too. All right. Um, I don't have a pretty board. I don't have anything flashy. I'm going to keep that trend up. I'm just going to go with JetBlue. That's my Fuck. airline of choice. Uh, that's the one that I will prefer if I can, you know, take a flight. I will, I will click JetBlue. Fair prices. Always got TVs. Free Wi-Fi. Good snacks. Uh, always good selection on the tube. Give me JetBlue in the third round. I I agree with Tommy though. Something happened with them where they're like, they're like in a rut. It's bad now. It's yeah, I feel like they, I've never had a problem. And again, this is like all basically like I'm sure each of us have had different bad experiences with different airlines, which will color our opinions. But to me, I feel like like Eddie said in recent years, JetBlue, it was it was hit, huffing its own paint a little too much, reading its own headlines about how good it is. And I feel like they they've fallen off a little bit uh, with, with delays and just flat out flight cancellation. So they've been on my shit list for a little while. And they're tough to get a hold of, Tommy. Like, were you able to get a hold of someone when you're going through shit? Oh, I was on I was on the phone for hours, and they were uh, massively unhelpful when I finally did get through. Yeah, it, I was on the phone for legitimately six hours. I tweeted about it. Six hours. Jesus. Did you sick Dan on him? It, it got to the point. No, I did not. But it got to the point where I was like, I am i don't even care about this anymore, but I want to see how long I'm actually going to wait. And yeah, it, it, curiosity. Yes, it yeah. truly was. Once it got to like hour two, I'm like, all right, I'm going to see how long this goes. Did you press one to answer a brief survey to rate your customer service after the call? I did not. Okay. I just kept it to myself. Yeah. And Twitter. Yeah. And, Twitter. Love yeah. The and 100,000 people. Yeah. Yeah. I love the reactions from the panel right now, but I, I don't love the rest of the choices on the board. So I'm happy with it. I think, yeah, I think it's one of the better ones I've available. I've flown it one time. And it was it was a last minute thing because I had to switch flights, and I it was the best experience I ever had on a plane. I I wish it would have gotten back to me. I would have loved to taken it. Yeah, uh, I think it's clearly a top five draftable one. It's just it's totally, weird because totally, it's yeah. it's not like the most well known. I feel like it's kind of like a hidden gem, or at least at one point it was. Really, I feel like it is. I, I, I feel I, like it's, it's not top. Delta American United. Yeah, it's probably in the next. I feel like it is in that class. I, it's better. I think it's maybe bad, East Coast. But, that might be an East Coast thing. I think they fly more out of. Yeah, there. I was gonna say like, like growing up, I feel like uh, I maybe flew JetBlue more than I flew anything else. Oh, oh yeah, I, 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 like yeah. I don't, maybe that is neat. Yeah, because I feel like yeah. there's not really any marketing campaigns for like commercials out here for JetBlue. I could be wrong there. Makes sense. Um, all right, Danny, you need one more. Well, I need two more, right? We have one, one more, more here now. though. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Fuck. I don't. Want, I don't like where I'm at right now. But <laughs> you said this after every pick. You just like, that was a bad pick. I, I, I don't. I, I. I'm not happy with my draft so far. All Dana, right. do you know about uh, the new format where like we vote in real time? Oh, I. I, li I listen to them all. Oh, okay. I mean, this, this classic. Idiot. Well, you're not exactly He's selling your board to the panel, is what I'm saying. We'll see what happens. Okay. Up here. All right. This is, you guys are going to be like fucking making fun of me for this probably, but I really enjoy an airport beer. I really enjoy getting early to the terminal, sitting down at the airport bar, having a beer, maybe a couple drinks, having a meal, and maybe making a friend there, like talking to the dude next to you about where they're going. I enjoy the airport bar experience as long as it's a decent restaurant. I'll say the the airport bar. This I'll is, tell this you is your your, is your park. The best, best thing. Yeah. Best this thing. is one of the worst picks in the history of the snake draft. Oh, I don't agree with that. <laughs> it, I mean, the airport beer is awesome, but it's not a perk. You can get a beer at any airport but on perk the planet. Says best thing. The yeah. Best thing. You. That's not a perk though. It's it's like a perk is something special that you kind of run into unexpectedly. Um, this you can get a beer at every single airport on planet Earth. That's not a perk. It's not it's, if you're, not if you're delayed. Not if you're not if your uh, security line at Philly is backed right, up way, to forever. The way I'm ex I'm explaining it is more the experience of sitting at the bar and like waiting to board. If that's I mean, an yeah, airport sure. beer is an all time great beer. That's what I'm saying, Dana. Here's the thing too: airports are one of the things where all rules go out the window. Yeah, it doesn't matter what time it is. It's international. Where waters. you're going, what you're yeah. doing, you could have a beer and it's acceptable. Yeah, I think that's a good thing. 
No, it's it's a yeah. To support oh, us, oh, oh, all right. <coughs> you are talking like you're selling it better than Dana was, but like uh, I don't think it's there's the experience is great, but it's not like you can't do it almost every single time you fly. All right, I, as a counter to that, if you're at O'Hare, it's hard to get a seat at one of those airport bars. So if you're walking through and you see an empty seat at one of those bars. You got to snag it. You snag it and you that is like, it's almost like the first class upgrade. If you have a seat, if you're going to be waiting, if you're, let's say your flight's delayed yep. and you have you find an empty seat at one of those crowded bars, that is like hitting the fucking lottery. So I think it's actually a great pick. Yeah, I don't know if I worded it. I shouldn't have said airport beer. I'm talking more like getting there early and with enough time that you can sit down and not stress and enjoy a meal and a couple drinks and just wait to board. Yeah, I, I like I like that. I, I'm, yeah, I'm that, that's big, more big, more early person. That's a better sales I job. I shouldn't have said beer. I shouldn't have said beer, but I, you know what I mean. It's yeah. an experience. I love being drunk beer, in airports. <laughs> yeah, I got to uphold the brand, you know. Yeah. I all the time Bailey Carlin got in trouble for that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Called out by that's our right. dog. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Um, but yeah, I, I love that pick and it is, uh, it's my favorite place to eat alone too. eat and drink alone is, is at the airport. So I used to have to do that. You know, if you're traveling, you might eat alone, but it's, it's like more acceptable and more, I never drink enjoyable. alone unless it's at the airport. Yeah. It's, it's like, it's like a I nice, don't go to the bar after it's a nice feeling a beer and a, like I never drink if alone. It's like a, it's also too, if it's a Friday and you're like about to go on a trip somewhere cool and maybe it's like a Friday morning. And you're just ready to step on that plane with a little buzz. Like that's a nice feeling. And you land, you have a couple drinks on the plane, you land in this wherever you're going. Yeah. It's the weekend. That's a nice feeling. You do kind of have to keep it going though, because I've had that before where you tie it on a little too tight and you got a long flight, and then you're not drinking on the flight, and then you're like, oh, you have a, air, a, a mid-air hangover over. is fucking tough. Well, that's why we're pros, Chief. Yeah. So we know how to handle. Yep. That's How true. about this, Dana? The White Sox Dave so It's one of the worst picks of all time. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, that, well, well, the way you put it at first, it's like uh, I'm thinking perk. Like, oh, I all right, you're getting to the airport. You're like, fuck, dude, I got a middle seat, and there's this fat asshole with his two month old baby that's probably going to be sitting next to me. Oh shit, I'm on the plane now, and then I got the entire road to myself. That's a nice perk, but like a uh, beer, every single airport. For the most part, you can walk up to any restaurant and get a beer. Mm. That's how I was thinking of it. But after talking it through, I rescind my worst pick ever. It's uh, I think That's what a we do fine on the pick. show. We talk it out. We yeah. talk it out, and we find out <laughs> find out the truth behind the pick. I think it's a good pick, especially when you talk it out. I don't think, however, it will play that well on a graphic because uh, I don't know how you explain. Ah, uh, no, people are idiots like, and they see beer and just automatically click. That's true. What are you gonna What are you gonna put down, Redhead? Um, the airport beer is what you said. I mean, I think that's and I was also thinking strictly like <clears throat> on the airplane. So, oh, wow, uh, what do you, why do you think that's I not no good? That, I, I again, I, that's what I that's what I said. So that's fair. But you know, maybe what? pre pre flight meal slash drink. That's like sitting at the bar before your flight. Airport bar experience. I, okay, we'll yeah. give you that. S yeah. Sitting at the bar, right. bar before flight. You never fly out of Midway, right? right. No. But rarely. When I was younger, I did. The fucking Irish pub in there. Rare. If you ask them for a shot wow. of Jameson, they basically give you like a pint class of it. I shouldn't say never, but not much anymore. Um, all right, back to me. I need a worst airport. I need, I need a snack. Strategically, it makes more sense to take snack because who's behind me? Um, dude, you, you see these once in a while, so I hope people have had them. They're it's a little goofy name, but I'm gonna go with the fucking Stroop Waffle. Yup, they're so good, dude. I don't even know what, what you talked about. Stroop Waffles are they're nice. That's the one. It's it's not. It kind of even looks. It's like a. It looks like a waffle. It's like a waffle print. But have you done the thing where you like sit it on top of your coffee and melt it a bit? I haven't because I only get them on the plane. I don't get coffee on the plane. But yeah. I remember Chaps and Trent did like a whole video about it one time. They're fucking good though. Yeah, they're nice. They're very good. Very. I got I got a bag of those for Christmas, so they were gone in, in five minutes. There's they are. It's the caramel. It's the crunch. But you're right. It's it's not. Uh, it, you don't come across it very often, but when you do, it's an absolute delight. Yeah, yeah. That was my that was my number one for this category, so I'm happy to get it this late. 
But like I said, it's kind of underground. But you'll see them. You'll see them. It's definitely draftable. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, Stroop Waffle. White Sox, Dave. Never heard of them. Uh, <laughs> never, well, never heard it called that, at least. Um, I am going to go airline. I'm just going to go with. Uh, it's a complete toss up for these. You know what? I'm going to go the working class. I'm going to go with Southwest. Chief, we all know your fucking fake bougie ass is going to shit talk it, but I like the first come, first serve. Uh, no first class. There's no division. And that's what I'm gunning for in the year 2023. Um, Com- it's typically the Communist Dave. Dave. Communist Dave. Division. Yeah. You you want everybody to be the same. You want everybody to have the Absolute. same experience. You want it to be. I, I don't need that curtain closed on me. It's degrading to me. Maybe it's it should be motivation. It should be aspirational. No, I it, maybe our fucking company should pay for me to sit in first class because I'm a goddamn fucking superstar. How about that? Southwest is easily it's the most efficient, economically friendly one though, by far and away. So I don't like. I mean, it's fine. It has its place. It has its place for sure. But ironically enough, I uh, I. Took out a Southwest credit card like four or five months ago, solely because I wanted. When anytime we'd fly for work, I would just book it myself and rack up the points so I could fly free for like a trip or something. Like a week later, we were no longer allowed to do that. Yeah. So I just have a Southwest credit Can't card now. It. Uh, Dana, Tommy, any any thoughts on Southwest? Don't know if I've ever really flown it. I don't think so. I don't think I have either. Really. Do you know the concept though? You don't have an assigned seat. It's first come first serve. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I like that either, to be honest. So, like, when are you saying like when the doors open to the gate? The it's first a mad rush. They no, they still have, they still yeah, have boarding hard. groups. Yeah, the A, B, and C boarding groups. Or yeah, it's not a mad rush. So when you check into your flight, you get assigned A, B, or C or whatever, and then you go in that line, and then that's how you pick your thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't love that just because of how many assholes there are out there and people would be like elbowing and, and nudging and shit. So I've, I don't think I've ever flown it, so I can't really give a, a great opinion on this, but I haven't heard too many bad things about it. So I mean, it's a, it, here. Who give, flies more than anybody you know? This is an easy answer. Donnie. Dante. Don, yeah, Dante. Dante flies more than Donnie, I'd say. Probably. I mean, obviously, yeah. I mean, more frequently. Mm-hmm. I was going to say money balls. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dante flies a lot. Dante, up the miles. Dante flies more than anybody I know. He's never in Chicago. It's like weird when he is here. And his favorite airline by far is Southwest. You can ask him yourself. So, and he's got the most experience in, in flying. So there's there's all the proof I need for why that's an A plus pick in the fourth round. Great. Do you, would you say that Dante is a crazy person? Dante is his his brain waved bye bye a long time ago. <laughs> but you're up with him on this. On this, yeah. Okay. Because, I mean, he wouldn't bullshit something like this. Not seeing any bullshits, but. You're putting um, yourself in a box here. No, I'm not. A little bit. All right, I'm Southwest not. off the board. Tommy, to you. I mean, I guess I'll, I have just such a long list of grievances that I was holding off because I was like, I'm, I might as well just see what's left. But I feel like fourth round, the fact that this hasn't been taken yet, just – Long delay slash cancellation. I mean, especially hard. when they're outside that's, of your control. Yeah, and then you get like, sent you, home you thirty minutes see. later. <laughs> right. Like if you're <laughs> actually if, you're, if it happens, fuck you, Tommy. I was supposed to be announcing that game to you, you slob. <laughs> Clean up your fucking Chinese food, <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> my fault. Yeah, you, yeah, it was. You're a Yankees fan, are you not? It's not my fault your flight was delayed. It's not my fault my flight was delayed. It was beautifully sunny that day in Chicago. What am I supposed to do about that? (laughs) Nothing. It's nobody's fault. The fact is you were late and you got Wally Pipp by name redacted. (laughs) You can talk about Joey Langone. Just because he's got a stutter doesn't mean you got to not say his name. (laughs) That was still the funniest thing ever. It was like Joey Langone. He was awesome at it. (laughs) I wish I could have seen it. Undeniably stutters. He, he, the bright lights went on, microphone. It's like he was speaking with uh, enunciating every word clearly and concisely. Yeah, I, I heard Portnoy had to kick him off the stream because he was doing too well for you guys. <laughs> he was too good of an announcer. He was like, he was like, like, like Joe John Buck. <laughs> that was 2019 or 2020? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. It, had yeah, been, it was yeah. at the end of the, yeah. Yeah. It was before the pandemic. Tommy, 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 how about the when they're you're sitting on the uh, runway and you're delayed, but they just won't tell you why? That's uh, so that yeah. was on my list. That specific scenario was like, why did, why are we delayed? Like, don't make me get on this cramped plane. Like, if, if we're gonna be specific, worst types of delay on the plane delay, hands down worst at the airport it's delay, be hell. and then. If it's before you've left for the airport, it's still annoying, especially if you just want to get back. But at yeah. least, you know, maybe you've got some time to do something else around the city you're in. Or if you're if you're flying out from, like, if I'm flying out from New York, I just don't have to fucking leave yet. I didn't, I didn't but, tip anything, did I, Chief? Are we all good on grievances? Yeah. yeah, I think you're good. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, that, delay, I mean, counts. Yeah, I mean, well, right. I'll just put general delay for the graphic. But, yeah, to, to pinpoint it, when you're just stuck on that runway... On that plane, it, it's, it's awful. I'll I also know. say, it's awful. to Dana's point, I feel like when you're on the runway delayed, there's just something like the plane gets hotter. Like you, like that's oh, when you yeah. really cook and sweat, and you're just like, get this fucking plane. There's got to be air. some behind that. Too, I think I, I, I don't think I'm making that up in my head. Yeah. I do. No, think it I, is I feel actually like you'd be hotter. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Long, well, no, I, I don't know. That, yeah. I don't know when you're in the air, head. you're like it's cooler, like in the atmosphere or whatever. Long delay size cancellation is good. It's a good pick. Uh, Chief, you're up. Um, I'll take O'Hare as worst airports. I fucking hate O'Hare. I think it's like the hallways are so narrow. It's always so busy. There's no like good food options. Like LaGuardia has like legitimate. I would just like go eat at LaGuardia for a nice meal at this point. O'Hare has nothing like that. All the food stinks. It's super cramped. It's huge. It's it's. It has like this humming, like white noise perpetually. It's just loud and awful and terrible. It has not w one single redeeming quality. I, I, I have heard this from so many people, and I have flown out of O'Hare a billion times in my life, and I've never had a single issue. Same. I have no. I don't problem understand with though. I don't have. I don't understand the problems with Me, that. Neither people do I. Just it's, make it's, it up. It's, 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 it's like you've never been to another airport. No, listen. It's like it's it's outdated. Like yeah. objectively outdated, but at the same time, like I just I've never really been like, man, this is fucking terrible ever. And I don't think the food never. options are as bad as you're saying. They are. I don't. What, what's a, what's like a spot where you want to eat there? They have that Fronteras, the fucking uh, the ba Mexican yeah, place. No, a Bayless. I know what yeah, you're Bayless about. is yeah, uh, Bayless, and they Rick have Bayless the Wolfgang brother. Puck one too. Yeah, they're they got hard fucking to get the into. Burgoff. They got uh, not, Billy yeah, Goat in there. Yeah, but it's hard to get into the like you can't get into the Burgoff. It's always fucking slammed. Like well, that's when I think of like the scenario where we laid out with like, oh, there's an empty seat. I was thinking about the Burgoff, but it is it is always, always way too crowded and the worst. I hate I, O'Hare. Like Charlotte has like those rocking chairs. They got piano music playing. They're spacious. They got but like it's, good it's food options. City. It's a hustle and bustle fucking airport. It's the so second busiest LaGuardia. one. You got to be crazy. Well, regarding just went through a renovation. Okay. It, Atlanta, like there's, I I would say of the major city airports, Laguardia was fucking dog shit when we worst. flew there in 2018. It was, and it's no longer. I'm dealing in current times. Sure, yeah, yeah. but I'm saying like I've it, never. I'm not, it, I'm not grading. Does it need an upgrade? A probably. Curve. Does it need an upgrade? Probably. Is it that bad? No. It I don't bad. think it's that bad. You guys have any takes? I know here. I've flown uh, in, but I don't remember what it, what it's like. I flew that, in now. that answers the question, though. If you don't remember, you didn't have a bad experience. If there's something so... I've, I've probably flown in at least five, six times. I don't remember anything terrible. I did it in November. My only issue was it was uh, pretty inconvenient to get to. Um, but other than that... You can hop on a train for $2.50 and be downtown in 20 minutes. But, yeah, I didn't know if you don't know what you're doing, or you could hop in an Uber. Yeah. And, I mean, you're sitting in traffic sometimes, depending on the time of day. But it's not like it's yeah. Far. That, that was one it. Highway. Like, tra like I, I don't know why in my head I thought it was closer, but you know that's like JFK, Laguardia. Like they're newer. Like I think in a lot of major cities, the airports are not like in the middle of the fucking city. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Overall, I would say no opinion on O'Hare. Yeah, they're all far. I don't like O'Hare. I know a lot of people don't, right. but I've never had a no problem. With I, it. Usually, like I always get to, the, I I have a fear of missing flights, and it's not because of the Tommy Smokes being a scumbag slob with the Chinese food thing. It's I always have. I don't want to miss a flight because it's typically for something important, and so I'll get to the airport way too early, and I have never one. It's like oh fuck, I got here too early. Now I got to sit at my gate for two hours because I got through TSA in ten minutes. All I've right. never had an issue at O'Hare. Fifth round, Chief, lead us off. Uh, I'll take American. Need an airline. Um, it wasn't number one on my board, but I feel like American is definitely in that kind of top three 
uh, with United and Delta. Uh, so I've never had like a overtly terrible experience with them. It's it's a f- perfectly fine airline that, to get in the fifth round. It's completely hit or miss on if you have in-flight entertainment, if you have in-flight Wi-Fi, if you have a fucking USB port to charge your phone or or iPad like or that's whatever. That's an outdated take too. There's sometimes when you can't, or you gotta like reach down under your seat. And there's, oh, you have to reach down on your seat on American sometimes. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Sorry. You gotta squeeze your hand and like shove Gee, the USB port into I'm the. I'm sorry, in you between have to the, lean over a little bit for two this, seconds. I can lean over better than you can. Are you happy that? <laughs> are you happy that he took Southwest and you got American? Yeah, American's better than Southwest. What would you, you say? Ed? Southwest is like taking the bus. At this stage in my career, I would I would prefer American over Southwest. But what do you guys You're got? You're also in flying out O'Hare, and they don't have Southwest. There. They're get, they, they have do it now. now, but it's. Wildly inconvenient, I heard. I heard it's, like, brutal. No, I've never done it. But what do you guys got on American? Uh, I mean, yeah. If you're picking – if it's a comparison game between Southwest and American, it's just, like, kind of picking between two mediocre things. And, I mean, the most bad experience of that on flight have probably been American, but I also – it's not, like, a spirit. But yeah. also, I feel like a lot of times they don't have – TVs, which is tough. Exactly. Oh, I feel, I haven't had that in like forever. Yeah, I don't love American, but it, given what's left, it was fifth, fifth yeah. round, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. I I I've never like, I've never had I think a horrible experience on it, but it's like you know what you're getting with American. It's it's mid, as the kids say. But yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Tommy, you're up. So I have snacks left. Uh, I'll just go with what I usually just get a bag of Cheez-Its. Uh, it's simple. They come in the, the mini Cheez-Its bag. Um, I know that I like Cheez-Its. I like them off a plane. I like when they're offered on a plane, um, given what's left. I and mean, that would honestly would have been my number one overall snack pick. Like if I'm on a plane and we're talking about the standard things you can most likely get, I'm going to choose Cheez-Its pretty much every time. So, you know, I, I, won't you know, I don't get – well, they – they give it, and you're going to fucking fat shame me here again, Tommy, but why do they give you a whole grain? They don't give you normal. They give you whole grain Cheez-Its. Yeah, some people care about our hearts and our bodies, <laughs> so it's just like that type of thing. Um, but, yeah, no, uh, it, and the bag is, is incredibly small, but, uh, you know, that's the case for a lot of snacks on that airplane. Yeah. I saw I saw Chief ready to jump down your throat for this pick. No, I just I feel like it's been very rare when I've – I don't it's think rare, I, but I feel like I get, I get goldfish more than I get cheeses. And I, I love cheeses. I prefer cheeses. I feel like I've just never – I can't remember a time where that oh, was really? an option I feel like I've had plane. it offered on almost every flight that I've been on. Damn, you're lucky. It happens a decent amount, I'd say. I didn't take it. It wasn't – I had Stroop awful ahead of it, but I didn't take it because I knew if I take, took this, Chief would have just cut my head off. What are you talking there about? There would have been a lot of resistance, I feel. I feel like this is more of a item in the Hudson News than on the plane, but that. But it is that, found on the plane, though. I'm sh- mm-hmm. I'm not denying. I I have. I don't think I've ever experienced. That. I would. That would be like almost a perk. I feel like a perk category because yeah, that, sure. that cheeses is probably my yeah, my favorite snack food. Maybe it's just Delta, but yeah, because I feel like that's what I've flown. But, but I feel like pretty much, I'd say the last twenty flights I've been on, I've gotten cheese. It's like eighteen of those times. Damn. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, White Sox, Dave, you need a snack now. I'm, it's slim fucking pickings for me. I had to Google a list to see what kind of snacks are typically on airplanes, and I'm picking one that I, I'll consume if available, not even on a plane. I got to go a kind bar, I guess, a little granola bar. Apparently, it's on planes a bunch, but everything else that's already been drafted is everything I've always experienced on planes. So, you, you guys, know, you're not a pretzel guy? I don't like pretzels. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say I. Th- I thought I feel pretzels like was there for you. On I don't a tea. like. I don't like pretzels. I feel like they have like the honey mustard pretzels a lot. I feel like I see that like in the little like baby ones that are like size of a nickel. Yeah, yeah I, don't like, I don't really like pretzels. So roast away. I don't want to. I don't want to come at the commissioner's throat here, but I mean, I, I think we could have thought of something better than air, airplane snacks for That's a category. <laughs> This was, uh, I deba- Tommy, you know, what I like asking Tommy to come on, because we go back and forth. We have a dialogue. Everyone else just looks at their phone and then bitches later in the moment. So thank you for that, Dana. I gave you I a couple suggestions it. that were ignored. You didn't. Yeah, you didn't. He texted us the t- I, categories at like 11 o'clock today. And I felt like Tommy was, uh, 
not true. And I felt like Tommy was uh, very passionate about airplane snack. No, I wouldn't say I was passionate. I want. There's I would have fucking like, Jesus. I would have taken. I, if I if I could have if I could have had it, I think I would have had plane activity and kicked off worst airport. That was my like pl- like what you'd want to do on the plane. But uh, I mean, yeah, I don't know. It fucking you got to pick pick something. It, it's it's a big part of flying is the airplane card experience. True. It is. It might have. Looking back at our pregame conversation, it might have had to been cart. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you. Gin, then we could have had ginger ale, coke, tomato <laughs> juice. You fucking asshole! Oh, jump down my tomato throat. juice. I tried to bend Tommy. This is see. Everyone says red ed. This I is... don't like tomato juice, but Stephen Che like a lot. That's a big airplane. A big airplane snack. A big airplane drink is tomato juice. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You kind bar. Should have went with pretzels, you but might, if you don't like them, I don't like props pretzels. to you for integrity. You want to be in the gang? <laughs> I like. I don't want to be in I, any gang. It, it wasn't <laughs> because pretzels. you're a fucking deadbeat. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck, uh, fuck uh, you. It's to me. I need an airport, and I, I got my airport, and it has nothing to do with the physical structure, but Orlando Airport is hell on earth. For the sole amount, for the sheer amount, Children. excuse me, of kids that are there. I can see that. It's a good point. It's awful. I don't know if I've ever been, been to there. Orlando. Last time I went to Orlando, I flew in to go to Daytona last year. Okay. And Nick Mulcahy was on my flight and a baby puked all over his bag. <laughs> uh, so he was walking around with a milky bag the whole fucking beginning of the trip. It was disgusting. You go there, <laughs> the lines are longer and they're deceiving because they're strollers. So uh, you're just fucking stretched out, you know. And listen, I get it. It's but it's it's theirs. It's for the people with kids. It's like an airport that belongs to them. So like I can't even be like like I'm the outcast. Yeah. I can't even be totally mad. But for a regular dude going by yourself, going for Daytona, terrible. I feel like Orlando terrible, terrible. has a yeah. high volume of fight videos that go viral on the internet too. Because I feel like people are just fucking stressed out. Yeah, they yeah. just you drop deal fucking dickhead kids on. They money. spend so much money at Disney, like it's it's awful. You guys got any experience in Orlando? Isn't that the one where I was uh, Escalator that goes into Chili's? Though that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, that, that's points for kind for of a the big. Orlando that's Airport. a big positive. It's that I've been to that Chili's I think three times, and I think Big Cat always talks about it. Like it, it is like entering heaven. Correct. The way that it goes right to the fucking right to the <laughs> yeah. The, the hostess stand. Yes, it's unbelievable. Yes, I don't know. I guess that's the only positive. But you're right. It's a, it's how it's a lot of kids, a lot of strollers, a lot of families, which is never good. You're right. It is PMT talk, calls it the stairway to heaven. That is the only plus, the only positive about that place. But I was just waiting, licking my chops to grab Orlando Airport because it's fucking awful. Yeah. And you know your flight's going to be awful. Everything that comes with it because there's, it's just it's legitimately a shuttle bus. A shuttle plane to Disney. That's all it is. Yeah. I don't it know sucks. if I've ever it been sucks. there as an adult. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah. I've been at Disney yeah. a few times, and I'm sure I contributed to the hatred <laughs> of the airport for adults. Absolutely. As a little no good Nick. You absolutely Running did. around. Um, all right, then, Dana. Uh, Mr. Irrelevant, which airport you got? I got to go what's uh, near and dear to my heart here in JFK. Uh, it's probably the one I've flown the most into and out of, and somehow i don't know how but every time my gate is the furthest gate in a 15 20 minute walk from security which is already fucking packed now i have clear so you'd think that clear would help you it doesn't it Clear's doesn't a lot of airports stuff. i've At noticed JFK, it too because i got it help me. if i hope they don't sponsor us or anything but at jfk it doesn't help you go and it it potentially adds on to your time and then you get through the gate nobody knows what they're doing and you always have a very very long walk to your gate uh it is you know there's a lot of options for dining and bars so that's the positive but the thing that just grinds my gears is the walk there's always like you're already not happy to be in an airport and there's always just a lengthy decent walk and don't give me the fat shaming shit i was just it about... doesn't matter who you are <laughs> nobody likes to walk 20 I, minutes to a gate I, I i am a jfk stan i i like jfk a lot i mean growing up that was the airport's like it's probably like 10 minutes from my house and growing up like laguardia was always the airport under construction with massive traffic and jfk was always better now what i think jfk has gotten a lot better at, if you were to pick my favorite 
terminal in the country, the JFK terminal or the Delta terminal at JFK is elite. I, it's got a McDonald's. It's got a Dunkin' Donuts. If you have a McDonald's, you're automatically an elite terminal. In I my agree. Mind. That's all I want to eat. When was Buffalo the last time Wild you flew things? out of there? When was the last time you flew out of there? Probably like a few months ago. It's it's the Delta terminal at JFK is hell on earth right now. It's the line. The TSA lines are always fucking packed. Mine was like so fast. I think it's right now because some of the terminals are shut down. I don't know why. So I think they added a couple airlines in, but and I don't know. I'll also no, say I feel like a little known thing about JFK. Like people are always like in the city. Oh, it's such a bitch to get to JFK. The air train takes you from Penn Station. This is for my New Yorkers. You get you get the the Long Island Railroad from Penn Station to Jamaica. Then you transfer to Jamaica, take the air train to JFK. It's like ten bucks total. Way faster, way cheaper than an Uber. Uh, so it's con- very convenient to get to if you live in Manhattan, even though people think otherwise. Dana, I'm fully on board. I th- I think JFK is awful. I agree. I've only been to it once. I think it should be way better. It should be way better. Yeah, I had to. I had a flight once that I had to take a bus to my gate. Yeah, Sometimes I've had you to do that before, like, too. I think I was, might have been with you. We I think to, we were together. Yeah, yeah. from the Bears, Bears electric chair. Yeah. Remember that? We I had to take a fucking that. bus to our gate. And it was, it was fucking cold outside. It was cold as yeah, fuck, dude. Yeah. It was brutal. Yeah, that was weird. That's a good, that's a strong last pick. That was high on my board. I think it's JFK like, it, I feel like it's the, one of the only airports that it's like we have to like walk down steps to get to that bus. Yeah. Yeah, it was like so it's like a multi-level. Yes, it was very strange. Also, what what Chief was saying, LaGuardia now is beautiful. Yeah, and it's a it's a great experience. And before it was completely flip flopped, and you couldn't even drive into LaGuardia without hitting a half hours of traffic. And now LaGuardia is like a like an elite airport. I don't know what happened because it's kind of like you just woke up one day and it was just there. Yeah, it was all that construction basically that was a, a bitch for a year it just paid off. Yeah, it's really good now. But for the Long Island people, it's convenience. I get it. They like JFK. So makes sense. It's all convenience. Um, all right. Let's do some honorable mentions. Then we'll, I'll, run through the, I'll run through the draft again. And then we'll vote who will not be on the poll this week. Uh, does anybody else have any uh, honorable mentions for worst airports? Heathrow is bad. Heathrow in London is fucking un- – it's like the biggest, most crowded, most chaotic airport you've ever seen. Okay. So that's for worst. I have LA other – I have uh, – what do you say, Dana? LAX isn't great. LAX, LAX sucks. blows too. You yeah. got to take a shuttle to the Ubers and the cabs. It's yeah. it's pretty miserable. Um, we doing well. I, anybody else have airport? Also airport. Like if you're down bad in Vegas, oh, not yeah. a great spot to be. But it's it's like five minutes from the strip, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. that's very nice. Yeah, that's and they got a Chili's. Yeah. Oh yeah. man, dude, the worst fucking flight of my life. I was, it was first time I was in Vegas. I was like 22, 23 years old, and I had a. I, it was the first time I, I, like, paid for my own vacation with the fellas and everything. So in order to, I think it was only like sixty bucks or something. I had a layover in Des Moines, Iowa, to Vegas, and a layover in Des Moines from Vegas, and I was between two fucking three hundred pound offensive linemen from uh, Iowa State. And I was drinking all the way up until the flight. And all of a sudden, you know, you get hung over. I, I just had my hands or my head in my hands the whole flight. I wanted to kill myself. Tough. It was hell on earth. Yeah, Vegas is tough, man. You, you lose every last dollar yep. sometimes. And then you hear that the slot machines don't stop. They're still ringing. Yep. When you're there waiting, you might just sometimes have, you know, five bucks left for that last whopper. You know, it's, it's tough. Um, Denver's huge, too. That's kind of annoying, but. It's got. I've heard Sky Harbor is awful. Yeah, but Denver does. But I've never had a bad. How did you think Sky Harbor was, Dana? Everybody always bitches about it, but I've never had a problem there. That's Phoenix. I, yeah, I, I've had no problem there. I mean, I've been in and out of Scottsdale a bunch, and I've never had really any problems with it. All Dull, right. Dulles in DC is tough, and so is Dallas. Never been there. Never been there. Dulles is far from everything. It's a bitch you get to. Yeah. Uh, do we have any perks list best thing? Tommy, I had um just me. I mean, maybe just like a no security line or whatever. Just like getting through, and they're, they're just a short security line. But that was I, I thought that was a pretty. I feel like that category was a clear like first class upgrade and extra seat next yeah. to. I feel like it was hard to think. Two blue chips. But if I had to choose, I probably would have chosen that. Anybody else? No. 
All right. Um, snack? Any other snacks? Probably not. No, nah, pretzels. Yeah. Ginger ale. <laughs> Ginger ale. <laughs> Sierra Mist. Any other airlines? Any other airlines? No, people. People. I. I did I, an airline ranking. When people love Alaska, and I never. I never. I've never flown that. on that. I think I did when I went to Alaska once, but I don't. I, I mean, like. Lufthansa when I went to Italy on like a school trip was super nice but like I wasn't gonna be some asshole that came on here and chose fucking Lufthansa yeah well like, that's like like K- Qatar Airways like from Francis's blog that seems like yeah that's probably quite uh, an airline but I feel like that wasn't yeah. draftable in, in this it must be nice to have like your own suite on a on a flight yeah because that's what that looked like yeah um I grievance have, I mean we could go round and round for I grievance. have a grievance right now what? I was offered to fly on the PJ with Dave Portnoy a couple of years ago with Ed, and Ed didn't want to do it. Sorry, I didn't want to. I didn't. I wanted to go home earlier. I didn't want to wait for the PJ. Sometimes you don't want to wait. Why didn't you just wait on your own? I'm not sitting in a PJ with me and Dave Portnoy. <laughs> I don't want to sit with him, and he doesn't want to sit with me. I need that Ed buffer there, and Ed went to it. And that'll probably be the only time I'm ever offered to fly on a PJ. And Ed took that from me, stole it from me. PJs are nice. I bet. I- I I done it a few times with the Dave and or that crew and it, my last time was awful. It was I think like Caleb and Roan and Big Cat were all on the plane and come back from Jacksonville or something and it was horrible storms and they were like you know private planes go down like a lot and I was like what it and then like, like Leonard Skinner or something. <laughs> it turns out like all right guess without looking it up guess how many private planes go down a year in America twelve. <sighs> 44 7 It's like 400 like no. hundreds of plane of private yes L- look it up like small private plane I don't like crashes that. per year risk averse edge just shit his pants I feel like we would hear we would have more celebrity deaths yeah that's that were the, I, I feel like that's that, what I thought too hmm don't like that where Small planes, they small planes are involved more statistically. I guess they do happen quite a bit more frequently. For example, in 2019, there were 12, 1,220 accidents, 233 of which were deadly. Are those oh. small planes, or are we talking? Small are sm- but is that like, in America? I, I, I feel like there's a difference between a private jet and then like a, a prop, Cessna. a prop, yeah, like a yeah. prop plane. You know. I don't remember exactly what I looked up. I remember the number being too fucking high. <laughs> too high, I agree. Right uh, here, private plane crashes in Aspen, kills 18. Hmm. Private plane accident rate. Uh, quick grievances. So, sorry, continue, Tom. No, sorry. I'm just looking at more stats. <laughs> uh, but uh, We don't need to hard. hear anything else. That's enough. <laughs> yeah. uh, when That's... TSA is loud and rude. Um, oh, my God, dude. That was on my... Why, why, why do you... I don't care if you hate your job and your life. Don't get mad at me. I'm doing everything correctly. You can get mad at the other fucking people that forgot to take their shoes off, but don't get pissed at me when I'm doing it right. I, I think you this know, would, yeah. yeah, they're so loud, too. <laughs> like, and they yeah. repeat the same, yeah. like, little fucking yeah, jingle. Dude, yeah, Get your boarding passes <laughs> out. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> shoes off, belt off, pockets empty. Yeah. I you had I think it was you that said this recently, Ed. The TSA should be like a universal experience. Yep. So you hit the nail on the head with us. Some places have baskets, others don't. Some places you have to have a basket for your computer, other ones don't. Drives me nuts. Yeah, it's like just you're in a national organization. Come up with a national plan, and that would make it more efficient because everybody would know what to do every time. Yep. So, Eddie, you said that, and then I think like a day later, I did a a thought, an unbranded thought, basically saying that exact thing without seeing uh, without seeing yours. And everybody's like, "You just stole this from Eddie." I was like, "No, like that's just a just that's just two great minds thinking alike." Because that it is insane. Every city is like sometimes you take your shoes off, sometimes laptops come out, it, or sometimes you put it in the bin, sometimes you don't. And then yeah, they, they're very angry if you're not up to date with whatever fucking new uh, rule they have yeah. at the other airports. Stop with the that bins. Being said, with that being said, uh, this is also on my list, and it was actually what I was gonna take if I didn't get hot airplane. The people that hold up the lines that don't know what they're doing, yeah. like read a fucking book or, or look, up, look it up how to do, I don't know, stop wasting time. That's the shit that really grabs my gears when someone doesn't know what they're doing. Yeah. Old people. Yeah. 
Shoes yeah. off. People who take their shoes off. The guy who doesn't stop talking to you. Sometimes shoes off can be okay. The drunk guy. I had a... Uh... Other grievances I had, I mean, I know this is a controversial one, and I know this was just uh, one of the laws for somebody uh, uh, last week, but I hate when the person in front of me does a full recline. Yes. I despise it. I know, I know the argument is that everyone can recline, but I just, I think if, if nobody did, it would be better. And sometimes it could be, it, it's annoying with the TV if they're really a full, like, mm -hmm. I, I never recline unless, like, I'm forced to. And, like, the second that we get in the air and some asshole in front of me does a full, like, abrupt recline right to my lap like the the anger i get like i literally i want to fucking wring their throats yes. eddie where do you stand and, and, on uh on, on shoes off but as long as they have socks on i, I i'm more okay with that yeah like I'm if, okay if your that. feet and your shoes stink that's a problem yes but and you shouldn't be barefoot but if you got fine smelling shoes and you have clean socks on it's more let, yeah. Let the let the dogs eat. Yeah, let them out. It's more the barefoot and also, but even socks though. Don't be poking those through the holes. Oh yeah, you can't do that. Don't be doing well, that. The reason I asked is because I flew on a, on Tuesday morning and I was I my foot was really just uncomfortable, so I kind of slipped it out. I had a sock on, but I was like, I've never really done this before. I don't know if somebody's going to get pissed at me. I wasn't sure if a sock was acceptable. I think it's socks, fine as long as it doesn't smell. Yeah. Um, all right. But what are you doing? Are you lifting your I got leg one up to your more. nose? I've who, got two more grievances. Oh, perfect. People who, who pee. Like yeah. If, if you have a two hour flight. <laughs> yeah. And you. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Tom, of course, Tommy's the guy that has the small He's the bladder. Peer, Cause I'm sleeping. Okay. Well, I, I'm sleeping. I if you're getting up. Like, I straight up. I will not fly if I don't have a house seat because of this reason where it's like, I know that I'm going to have to pee. If it's a two-hour flight, we're probably looking at four bathrooms. Oh so, like, God. I just... Every 30 minutes? Aisle. You should be on a no-fly list then, Tommy. Yeah. You're why didn't you go? Why didn't you go before well, the flight? You're Al-Qaeda. Why didn't you go before the before the, you got on? He did. Oh, probably I'm five sorry. times. It's not that easy, and I have a fucking a serious bladder issue. <laughs> you have a serious bladder issue? I think. I don't know. I pee, wait, I pee a lot. I pee nonstop. Have you ever tried just holding it? No, I, I can't. I can't. I, I have a very sensitive <laughs> tip. I really feel it in my tip. <laughs> that is a weird thing. I'll, uh, I'm a peer. I'll, I'll, I'm a peer too, Tommy. And Are you climbing over people to pee? Because that's annoying. No, I'm an aisle guy, so I'm. It's usually not a problem. But if you know, if like I'm I said, not sure I have I've ever pissed on a flight before the flight. It's not my fault if I have to pee. I'm not going to be like miserable. But I'm a, I'm not a window guy, so it usually doesn't affect. Me. It actually is your fault if you have to pee. It's like whose fault would it be? Go before the flight. No, I'm saying I, I don't control the fucking the bladder. You know, I, I don't drink as much. Have, you one, fucking have alcoholic. one last have one last uh, airport beer, and then you're oh, you'll be I fine. <laughs> I, if if I for some reason have to have a middle or a or a window, like I will dehydrate myself uh, like throughout. <laughs> Thank uh, you, Tommy. What That's, are your last two, Tommy? I had a, a like for a grievance, like just the armrest battle with the person next to you, like the uns, like if someone's being like really aggressive, uh, if someone's like clearly putting their arm uh, into your territory, like they're using the armrest and their elbows uh, peeking into your territory, and it's like I kind of want that armrest. I didn't think it was strong enough, but it's a thing that bothers me. Mm -hmm. And then also you the, just got to alpha them. the mad dash. What you just got to alpha them. That's yeah, your armrest, yeah, Tommy, but battle. you will. The mad dash? Our beta. The mad dash to board the plane. Like, I, I hate think that, that too. Like, everybody is, like, rushing to get on. It's like, why? I mean, I guess for overhead space, but worst comes to worst, you get it checked at the gate for free. So, mm -hmm. like, who really fucking cares? But, but also, I, I think that it's so annoying when people don't understand when they're supposed to zone and they try to, like, cut and then... Like basically cutting people, cutting people standing on the side and cutting the line once they're. You want a little called. loophole yeah. there? So typically when I'm flying, it's not Southwest, so it's not first come first serve, and, and they board you by seat number. I'll intentionally wait until I know my seat has passed, so I can get up there and just cut everybody and go through right away. I, oh, sorry, group. sorry, I missed my boarding group. I got the B boarding group. You got C like a peasant. <laughs> I get to go on right now. I don't got to wait in line. Yeah, yeah, that but me. but I that is the thing. Like, it, if there's yeah. nine boarding groups, like you know, it's going to take 10, 15 minutes. Why? And that's that's another problem at O'Hare because Why the rush? terminals are so narrow that people How's, spill out into like 
the middle of the concourse while waiting for their to I don't out. really know what you're talking about with that. I've never noticed that. What were you going to say, Dana? I was going to say, we might have been able to do a just an air airport, air travel grievance. Yes, yeah, probably. With all. Probably. But snacks were it's more a, It's important. a fucking miserable experience for the most part. It sucks. Ed, you wanted um, to draft Mile High Club you were talking about? <laughs> you know what's funny is... That's exactly what Tommy said about you in my text message. All right, so on my list. <laughs> Tommy, hold on. Tommy, explain that. Yeah, so we were talking about, I was like, I think what, I was thinking like plane activity, like what you like to do on the flight would have been a good category of like, I like to sleep, I like to watch a movie, I like to read, listen to music, whatever. And I was like, I feel like if we do that, White Sox, Dave will choose like having sex in the bathroom. <laughs> I, I, like during. I don't even know if it's possible. I don't, yeah. It's a bit, I can it's a hardly bit. fit in that <laughs> myself. And I'm, uh, you know, not a large human. I'm a yeah. very small human. I would, on my list of perks was if you have like an attractive girl sit with you, cause it's like the idea of the Mile High Club. And, and that's kind of, it's a little bit nice. But it will never happen. But it's like the fantasy is nice. I love well, walking especially through. Especially not with a girl you just met on the plane. No, it's a, it's total. It's like something out of a like a Cinemax porn. <laughs> like it's the only yeah. way that would ever happen. But like, it's like a nice. I actually saw, a, uh, I actually saw a, a video the other day of someone getting a blowjob on a plane. It was, Ooh, it was on some like it was Pornhub or something. It was kind of hot. Yeah, so, I bet. I you know when you you <laughs> you play uh, the poker you know. game on the on the screen. Yeah. I, that's what I play at least. Yeah. You always they, pick the hot girl. The redhead's yeah. got nice perky tits. <laughs> she, she, does. she does though. She does. She's hot. She's hot. She's super hot. She's super hot. All well, right, I'm gonna run through this list. We'll uh do the kill box and we'll get out of here. Um air travel draft, chief, first class upgrade, peanuts, pilot who makes too many announcements, O'Hare Airport, American Airlines, Tommy, empty seat next to you, Delta. Newark Airport, long delay slash cancellation, Cheez-Its. White Sox Dave, live TV on flight, babies crying, Philadelphia International Airport, Southwest Airlines, Kind Bar. Eddie, people in the back who rush off the plane, United, sleeping through the whole flight, Stroopwaffle, Orlando Airport. Dana, Biscoff Cookie, hot airplane, JetBlue, sitting at a bar before the flight, and JFK Airport. All right. You guys got your phone? You got a piece of paper or something? I got my phone. All right. Let me give it So we're voting for who we want off the poll. Yes, Correct. who you think was the worst draft? The worst draft. Okay. Um, all right. Dana, Tommy, put them up. WSD is for Tommy. WSD for Dana. Eddie it, for I voted Chief. For myself. Uh, my White Sox Dave. I voted for White Sox Dave as well. I, my draft was bad today. Um, That's accountability right there. There you go. I got to be better. What the fuck, Chief? I just want to vote for you. This I is, wanted this to is vote for Tommy is. for thinking last Thursday. No, I, oh, I, integrity guy. I, brought nah, in, runs on the ballot dude, of hold integrity. On, hold on. I didn't like the sleeping because that's just something you, you should just do. And then I, but everyone can't. Life. I don't think that, I don't like. Not a, I didn't like that as a perk. That's, that's why perk. I voted for you. It's perk or best part of flying, but it's not. I, I distinctly said the best part. I understand. I don't think it fits into that category either. All right, continue. I think Tommy might have dominated this one again. I, I think yeah. so too. I think Tommy did well. Yeah, yeah. I, I think too. the airport beer sucks too, for the most. Suck. I thought we. You I suck. thought we worked that out. Yeah, yeah. kind of. It's still. <laughs> it's still like widely available. Also, grab your St. Patrick's Day merch. Yeah, great merch. We got it here in the nice. video. You like that one, Dana? That's a good one. I like that a lot. Yeah, go get it. Um, if you order it I've now, I've been you on a Guinness kick lately. I mean, no free ads. I've been on a big Guinness. Dude, kick I, lately. I love Guinness. Miller's way better. It is. Miller Lite's way Miller, better. Miller's way great. Better, better. Yeah. Um, I'm a pirate water guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go, Dana. Pirate water. Um, but yeah, that's the draft. Air travel draft. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Dana. Um, also, if you want to buy that merch, you should be able to get it by the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Chicago, but no guarantees. Just fired in as soon as possible, probably today. So, uh, but thanks again, guys. Appreciate it. Got it. Yep. Thank Tommy, you. I'll be checking in next Thursday to see if you're thinking. And if you are, <laughs> you're fucked. All right. Trouble. We will be up. having <laughs> a conversation later on. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. We'll see you all tomorrow.